Battery Park City is a great neighborhood for dogs. So I live in Battery Park City and I do have two dogs. So I guess I technically am qualified for this answer, but I'm also a residential real estate agent and I do deal with clients in all neighborhoods all around New York City that have dogs. So I'm very passionate about this topic. So there are gonna be three main dog parks in Battery Park City. The Battery is a great place to bring dogs. And in the summer warmer months, when the lawns are open, you can actually bring your dogs to run around and play in the lawns in the Battery. So it's technically not a dog park, but it is a park that is very dog friendly. So I highly recommend that you bring your dog over there, especially if you have a bigger breed, like a lot of energy, then the Battery is gonna be a great spot to really just have your dog playing around. Now, my other three are actual dog parks. So where you gated in, there's a small dog section and a large dog section. So the typical dog park. So the first one is gonna be on the north end of Battery Park. It's gonna be the North End Dog Run. So that one's gonna be right near Teardrop Park. And it's in between a few different residential buildings in the neighborhood. So it's on the longer side. Like I said, there's a small section and a large section. And I would say that most times during the day, there's at least one or two dogs there. So it never gets super packed there. However, I definitely wouldn't say that. So the next dog park, it's gonna be the Serious Dog Run. And this one is right outside of Brookfield Place. Now it's a little bit elevated from the street level. So if you're not looking around for it, you might actually miss this dog park and not notice it at all. Unless there's like some dogs like getting rowdy in there, which kind of brings your eye over to it. And then you would notice it. But I actually used to walk by this dog park all the time and not even notice it was there until I was actually like looking for it. So this dog park doesn't have a large and small section. It's only for everybody, so all dogs. And it has a like water fountain as well. So I see a lot of dogs that love that. It's a really nice dog park. And I actually do like sitting at this dog park. However, the only thing to consider with this one is that there's no separate large or small area. And two, it's right near Brookfield Place. It actually tends to get a little bit more crowded, I would say, at this dog park than the other one. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. But there are still some times where you can go there and there's not that many dogs there. I would say Battery Park in general just isn't as crowded as a lot of other neighborhoods in Manhattan. So if you're comparing it to a lot of other neighborhoods in Manhattan, they're all gonna be relatively quiet. So now the third dog park is gonna be the Little West Dog Run. So that's gonna be another very long dog park. And I would say out of all three of those, this is gonna be the most crowded one because there's a lot of residential buildings around it. So this one pretty much always has a dog there. I, I wanna say it every time of the day. I think only like at night night is the only time where I never see any dogs there. But typically there's always at least one or two dogs like around and then on the weekends, it's like a dog party over there. So I would say that this is definitely gonna be the busiest one. And there is a small and large dog section in this park. So with all dog parks, I definitely advise people to be careful with their dog because you just never know what's gonna happen at a dog park and everybody wants to be safe, you know? So that's just always something to keep in mind. But I do think that Battery Park City is a really great neighborhood to bring your dog and even just honestly walk around the waterfront because in my opinion, the Battery Park City waterfront is like one of the nicest waterfront areas. It's really, really great as just a place to just walk your dog. So sometimes you don't even need the dog parks because you can literally get your dog's energy out just at the parks in general. So that's an overview of the dog parks in Battery Park City. Now, the Financial District and Tribeca also have dog parks, which are two neighboring neighborhoods to Battery Park City. However, I honestly don't think any of the dog parks are really that great over here. So I would suggest sticking with Battery Park City because there's just no need to go over these other parks in the other neighborhoods. So I hope this helped you. So if you guys have any questions about the dog parks here or have anything to add, please add it in the comments because as always, I love hearing from you guys.